I first learned about Easy Stand while I was going through my rehab. But just like most people newly injured, I could barely stand for five to ten minutes at a time. So it wasn't necessarily something that I engaged in at the beginning of my injury. But through the process of being bedridden, dealing with a lot of outpatient therapy, my therapist would recommend me getting on the standard. And at this time, they had a couple different versions. I think the first one was the Evolve, and then the second one was the Glider. And I had the opportunity to check them both out. I liked it, but I was still at a place where, one, I didn't really have a large space at home to have one of these at my home. I didn't understand cost, so that was an overarching thing for me. All to say that my awareness of how beneficial the standard was for me happened after I started to become healthier. So once I found out I lost that weight, I wanted to be more physically active. I started to go back on a regular basis to my outpatient rehab. And I would use their their gym. And every day I would go in and work out, which was probably three days a week, I would stand too. And I just started to feel good. Like I liked my body being stretched out. I didn't want to make the excuse of not having access to it, especially when it was somewhere that I could have access to it. (laughs) Um, It just became a part of my lifestyle. I'm not a person to think that I need to get back to walking. I, I just, that's not who I am. I'm okay with me. But just like a person that has to go get their you know, back cracked by a chiropractor. I need to stand. I need to do things that help blood circulation and my overall well-being. Standing was a requirement while I was going through therapy, but at least at the beginning of my injury, there were a lot of times I just chose not to do it. But it was a requirement that they felt was important. I just hadn't accepted my main injury to think of why it was important. So there's a thing like when think of standing, at least at that point, I was referencing it to walking. And if I couldn't walk, why should I stand? So as much as they did push it on me and try to highlight the benefits, mentally I was rejecting it all because I had still rejected my situation. I feel like a lot of it was focused on the initial therapy or rehab that was surrounded around it. So say for instance, if I was just going and doing outpatient and we were doing strength training a lot of times I got into the standing frame for you know resistant bands and kind of helping with balancing but it wasn't in the sense of like oh maybe because it'd be days that I didn't want to do the resistant bands or the balance so I wouldn't do it right like I wasn't feeling it my body flaring up already not like hey get in this it's going to help with blood circulation today which blood circulation can be Maybe one of the reasons why you're feeling da 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 like it wasn't those things were a miss. If it wasn't providing for the service that they initially had in their mind, they wasn't telling and sharing the other overall benefits like bowel and bladder. Like if someone told me that this would be standing would be great just for my bowels to be able to move and be on a, more of a regular motion. I would did it every day. Like all the times I battled constipation and all these things because I'm sitting and that became painful and it would cause spasms and all the things I don't want. So if even if those things were shared in that way, I think I would have had a different outlook. At the beginning of my injury, I rejected a lot of times that I had access to a standard. 
but after I started to work on myself, it was hard to find excuses on why, why not to stand. I mean, if there was ever an excuse, it was just because I didn't see the benefit. I didn't have particular excuses, like, I just didn't see the benefit. And so when I was aware that certain devices, like the standard, was beneficial for reasons outside of magically helping me stand or walk, then I was just more eager. I have such a low injury that I didn't have physical challenges trying to stand, if any. I mean... I guess I would say the most physical challenge to standing was the lack of transportation to get to sources that did have one at the time, funding that I didn't have um, to kind of get my own. So those were, you know, initial barriers. but it was also the lack of awareness. I mean, a lack of awareness did a lot to hinder me because once I became aware, it's just like anyone else, people drive distances and find ways to get to the best donut shop. Um, when I became aware of how important my overall well being was to be in this wheelchair, all, uh, all those excuses of access and transportation went out the door. I made sure I had transportation and access to where I needed to go. Insurance had denied me so many times for different things that I'd like to say that a standard frame really didn't cross my mind um, at, the, at the beginning of my injury. And if it did, I wasn't approved for it. Just like most systems, they always tell you you're denied for something. Most medical systems, they say, oh, you can probably try to get it, but they're probably going to deny you, and it's going to be out of pocket, and I tell you the out-of-pocket price, and then you get nervous and think that you can't afford it. and that, Like, there's just a lot of doubts in the advancement of independence. I tell people all the time, you know, this gives people independence, stretching your body out, helping with bowel and bladder, blood circulation. Well, now you feel like you're unstoppable when you get out in the world. But if the world is constantly trying to stop you from doing these things, it, it, it's debilitating to your independence, you know? And so, but most people just look at you, they judge you. Oh, you got a fixed income. Oh, you're on Medicare, Medicaid, whatever that case may be. Then you probably won't apply. You probably won't, um, you know, be able to be pushed through. Like they probably won't select you. Like all these things that you're told in a sense because people are, oh, you're on a fixed income. Oh, you you know, none of that should matter. Let's still go through the process, right? Like that's my mindset now, my wheelchair. Oh, you want better tires? Oh, it's probably going to be an additional 500 out of pocket. Well, throw it on there and let's see. And you know what happens? I get it. And there's nothing out of pocket. So I've learned through that process of being an advocate for myself and just saying, well, you know what, we're just going to try it out and let the insurance tell me no. Because people telling me no because they don't want to go through the process of paperwork to find out that we got a no makes you avoid the yeses that are supposed to come through. I stopped accepting them and I stopped accepting how people saw me. Well, my first standard I had, I ended up getting it. It was gifted. It was many times that I would randomly get on a standard when I you know, I think I made a post on social media one time, like, oh, I dropped 30 minutes back and forth to stand, you know, and um, I remember just the community reaching out, like, dude, is there one we can get you, da, 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 and had someone find, find one on the internet, and that was my first standard. Um, after that, I just started to pay attention to logos, <laughs> and started following easy stand on social media and that just kind of built a relationship where it allowed me to understand the the proper resources to go through channels to get a standing frame and what that could potentially look like i'm a big person and just kind of talking to the people directly so it's a lot of email back and forth communication to figure out um what was more beneficial for me My first standard, it was definitely just a clothes hanger. Um, I still, just because I had it, I hadn't added it to my daily routine. And, you know, when you stand, you have to be still for a moment. And I 
was at a point in my life where I didn't know how to be still. Um, it took time for me to add that, add standing within my daily routine to find benefit and then also be able to find time within my busy schedule. Standing became more routine for me once my daily activity became a lot more. Traveling all the time, working out, um, even getting in and out of my car as much as I do. Um, overall recovery has kind of been my main goal lately. Um, so making sure I eat better, you know, take care of my body from standing to massages to chiropractic work. I do all of that because I just know the benefit, but standing is definitely in that weekly routine. I Honestly, I don't know if I knew standing was right for me. I just knew that it was beneficial for me. And over time, I just got comfortable with being uncomfortable, which created better comfort. And that's kind of how I see standing, as well as anything else that I do. Like, I don't know if I, if I had to find that comfort in those moments of finding it uncomfortable. And it just started to work for me. Um, can I say that, like, did I start breathing better? Did, <clears throat> did like, one leg get longer? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't. Um, I just know that. I'm still active, I'm still healthy, I'm still moving, and I'm grateful that standing is a part of my daily routine, weekly routine, monthly routine, that it does work for me. And that's the why, reason why I continue doing it. Is standing right for everyone? I think if you want to understand benefits that your body can have, if you are in a seated position daily um, and really don't have a choice behind that, then yes, I think that standing is important because it brings just a lot of benefit. Or say someone that has more of a physical issue, um, there could be reasons why you can't stand. But there's just benefits in standing. Um, I think that is very important to understand the benefits so that it can serve you properly. I think just understanding, you know, what 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 is a great time, um, when do you do it? Like, I do see, it's just like a person that, if you can't stand, stretch. You know, so either way, if you can't stand, lay your body out, stretch it out. Don't just curl up in the fetus position when you get in the bed, right? Like, get on your stomach, do some things that standing would do too, if you can't stand. but. Stretching your body out is important. I mean, if you don't understand it, then try it. <laughs> you know, because most people that don't understand probably don't stand or they don't stretch. And then once you do it, you feel the benefit. Like, yeah.